Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Cloud 2. In this episode, I'm sorry, in the last episode, we went through Ground Valley recruiting more characters, and going into Dark, oh, uh, what was it? Dark, or Starlight Canyon. In this episode, we're going to maybe recruit another character or two. Who and continue on. But first, first I wanted to show off a new invention. Very easy. This one involves the pipe, the parasol, and. As I'm sure you can guess at this point, the clown rode the cat. Say cheese! You invent the clown rode? And like with the last three ones, another clown themed invention for the ride pie. Now these these things combined together, you can create, turn the right pod into a literal robot clown that can punch enemies to death. But before we go back to the Balanced Valley, there's something I... Hold on. I wanted to show off a moving in the lane in, in the, the weapon shop corner, but I don't know if I have enough reason to build a house. Right? I just need 18, 20 rolling logs, and then one sugar cane. Oh yeah, well I'm here. Or let's, or let's show off, or did I show off such or something? I think I have. Yeah, I remember buying it. Oh well, that's why it's better to shop it now. So let's go check out... Dr. Dell here. She cures up normal statuses and will tell you mighty healing. Mighty healings are... Or special status handling in items that can cure all stats. But they're expensive. Alright, 300. Huh? Ugh, ouch. No one's got that kind of money. Fernand. The lane. Gives you bonus points on upgrading swords and will sell you tools and swords. And as you can see, her her inventory, her shop inventory is exactly the same as before. So, yeah. Real quick, I want to get her my body for free cheese. Characters willing to do something for you like this? Then I suggest you check if it's something you want. I mean, like cheese or bomb. I suggest taking full advantage of it when where you can. Get a sugar cane. Yeah, then once you recruit Ferdinand, you can use or sell any. But I just recommend holding on to at least one for him, so you can get him his party. But now we can finally... We can finally complete... Vindane and get 100% by moving the lane in. I 
feels like food problem. And, and uh, recently, I found that he, he worked at a shop that suddenly had to live in an empty forest. There's been a change in the future. Wait, what?
wanted to just see that so that way I could come to the train station and buy some Kanda. He's gonna be invaluable well, throughout the entire game. Master Jurak.
thanks to you, Jark and his whole horse is back to normal. Come back anytime. Yeah, he sells a bunch of items. Including a bell trigger. Which is... I want that for something that's coming up later. I'm not going to exactly say why yet, but it'll be obvious when it comes up. I wonder what this guy says. Jurek has been revived, so it's time we strike back at Gregory. Okay. I'm sure we can win if we can work together. And over here, there is a special object. Find the golden egg. By 100, gain 100%, create these golden eggs here, for which can be a scoop, which can be a scoop, so you should be sure to want to take a picture of it. Not only that, but if you come up to them, you can get golden paint. Wait, can I interact with more? I wonder what will come out of this egg. And the reason why I've been waiting to get this golden paint here, Gold paint, a magic artist paint made from the shell of a golden egg. The reason why I stress the importance of, of getting this for free here is because uh, there's a specific character I'm about to recruit that wants to, to have golden paint. And if you don't get it for free then and there, you'll otherwise have to come over here and buy it for your shop. Buy it for a shop. Buy it from this exact shop. This shop's the only one that sells it. And it sells it for a thousand gilda. So yeah, you can just fork over a thousand gilda to buy it from the shop if you don't want to put any work for it, or you could just put the work into it to get it for free. Which, considering how money, how important money is, I sort of kind of uh, suggest you put in the work to get it for free. But for now, for now we're done showing off the game. I don't think we're going to be going back to there or ever again, or at least not for a long time. So let's go to Palm Creek and we can find this character, this Osho elusive character that I've been for trying to promote for Shadow for all the time. The character's name is Carr, and he's going to be needed for the balance of So, it'll be good to get him here while we can. And there's a secondary reason why I want to recruit him. Well, that, that'll be known when it when it's time to talk about it. But for now, let's figure, let's get them into our party first. Hey, Mac. I haven't introduced you yet, have I? This is Julia, my wife-to-be. Yeah, you can laugh. I know it's strange. Who falls in love with a girl in a picture? <laughs> it's funny he'd say that now! <laughs> Don't go on the internet! But I'm a magical artist. I have the power to make things I draw real. Whatever I draw really does not good in the picture, as long as it's not a living thing. Even a magical artist can't draw life. But, I've heard of a way. There's a golden egg in a big old tree. It said that with this golden color, you can give life to anything you draw. Max, you're going out to town, right? I wonder if you can get a hold of this some golden paint. Of course, I can't expect to do it for nothing. If you can help me, I'll use my new power to help you return. A big old tree with a golden egg. What on earth would you find a tree like that? Gee, I wonder where. It's such an unraveled mystery. I've been waiting for you. 
face, give you that paint so that I can bring life to a picture. So, I know, 
I know it's been a, a little bit of a short episode, but I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Oh, we got all... We have... It doesn't really feel like we've done much, but we got a little bit of everything done. We've done one floor of a dungeon. And we got a bit of... We, we finally 100%... We finally got 100% Gio Ramadan on in Zendane. We got a bit of, of what's the system called making done. And with that, I think we're going to end this episode here. Next time, we're going to do more dungeons. We're going to is that hopefully start the the Gio Rama family. Maybe can't guarantee it. Well, until then, see you guys out.